let's see how we can go about solving a pulley problem like this. So as you can see, we have two different masses and they oppose each other on this pulley. We have this rotating wheel system right here, and we have the approximate weight force on each block. I rounded up the whole numbers to make this problem a little bit simpler for calculations. Now, just intuitively looking at the system, we can tell that it's going to rotate towards the four kilogram block. The reason why is because the four kilogram blocks, it's a stronger weight force, so it's going to cause the system to rotate in this direction. The way you can calculate acceleration is by taking your net force divided by your total mass. Now, the net force is going to be your driving force minus the weaker forces in the system. So our driving force is clearly going to be this 40 newtons here, since that's causing the system to pull in this direction. And the only other force we have is this 20 newton force. So we can take our 40 newton force and then subtract off the 20 newton force. And notice here we have the driving force minus the weaker forces of the system. Now for total mass, all we need to do is take this two and this four kilogram block and add them together. And that's going to give us six kilograms. So this is the fraction we should end up with. And if we solve this fraction, we should get approximately 3.33 meters per second squared.